Hogan once again to text said the advice block where I impart my years of wisdom to you. You are the public, the public, the plebs, if you like, the, uh, the ugly boils on the backside of society. And why? Why are you asking yourselves why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I care. <laughs> Thanks very much, Brian. Thanks for the facts and emails. <laughs> this one's from Sud Hastings in Gala Shields. Says, Did that. I feel I'm very ugly and unpleasant to look at. Please tell me I'm being silly. I've enclosed a photo. Let me tell you, Stuart. Let me tell you, beauty comes from the inside. It's not about how, <laughs> how, it's not about how ugly you are facially. It's about beauty from the inside. Let me tell you that. Let's have a look at your photo. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, I've never seen one like that. The whole herd has been destroyed. I finally asked the prettiest girl in the class to draw the pictures with me. I am terrified. I've never been on a date before. A stud of muffin like you should be able to help. How about the deck? Well, of course, of course I have. I've taken lots and lots of girls to the pictures, let me tell you that. Obviously, that's where to go on the first date to the pictures. I remember one of the loveliest girls in my class, Wendy Moran. I took her to the pictures. Oh, what a lovely pair she. And I made the gather, let me tell you ladies and gentlemen. I remember it clearly as if it was yesterday. We took the big bus down the hill. Oh, what an absolute load of Tommy Rock, that lad's bounce. Oh, yeah. Deck did want to get a date with Wendy Moran, but not because she wanted to go out with him. Oh, no. She felt sorry for him because he told her he only had two hours to live. <laughs> He's such a fibber and a creep. The way it really was was a very different story. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry, sorry, excuse me. So all that we Christmas to me, Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. And you pet them back. Oh, oh you look lovely tonight. Mm. Oh, your hair smells lovely. It's like a cross between Marmite and chips. Mm. Here's a kiss. Uh, no? Here's a little yeah, I'm so long. Uh, uh, what a problem. Oh! Oh, no. I think that was a blow from Sweden. Oh. Hi, Wendy. Oh, listen, I just tried to kiss a blow. Oh, hey, not that kid's blow to me. Like. Something like that. No, no, but you know, but you know, I thought it was you. Oh, not, I that, not, not, not that you look like a blow. I just don't know, I'm a fine lady. Oh, my God. Oh, you're classy, you are, you're dead there. You're, you're very classy. Where you been? Do, um, in the bog. Uh -huh. uh, do, do you give me any food? No, no, this is mine. I can't believe that you've got all that food, all that popcorn and crisps without me. Hey, I'm famished, baby. I'm famished. But I tell you what, in a minute, do you want to swear? Me and you will be back in the cut in the back row. I've been sprayed, you know, I've been sprayed. And I've had some of them fresh breakfast and I'm just mad with the dogs. All right. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah, give us a kiss. Come on, give us a kiss. Uh... Kick you off! I'd rather kiss your dog! He's <laughs> wanted to put it off. <sighs> Hey! Yeah. Fun, it's like this, eh? I don't even understand it. Just keep jumping from the seat to seat, the seat. These are adverts, Jimmy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh. Come here. Get off! Move over there now! Anyway, you promised me you'd be dead by now. Well, I, I made, I made a sort of hungry up there. Pity. Cinema law. In fact, at the same time that they adopted a no smoking policy, all the cinemas adopted a no Declan policy. Quite right, too. A little freak. Listen to him. Still yapping on and on with these silly lies. 
If only they knew the truth. If only. If I think, I think if, I, if I remember rightly, the manager of that particular cinema just, uh, just used to reserve the whole back row for me and my lady friends every Saturday night. I tell you what, I was smooth. I was really smooth. If I had a pound for every time I took the girl to the pictures, you have a pound. I'd be a millionaire, actually. Oh, what did you do? Sorry, I'm a mistake. <laughs> Well, that's all I've got time for this. I'm excited for free, ladies and gentlemen. But do keep sending your problems in me. I'm only too happy to answer them. Send the problems in, and um, send the, uh, the lingerie sections of the catalogue. I like them as well. <laughs>